Mr. Yao, you represent a two-person company that receives contracts and then subcontracts, and you've received millions of dollars from taxpayers for the process of receiving contracts and then subcontracting. So what would you say you do here? Uh, Chair and, and Honourable Member, um, you, you speak about what do I do, but um, I have to go back to, you know, the beginning. Uh, you know, the, the amount of effort I, I and the... I really think you do. I, 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 I'm not looking for prevarication or distraction. What is it that you do for the Government of Canada in exchange for millions of dollars? I don't know if it's exchange for millions of dollars because there's so much overhead to running a bricks and mortars business here in Ottawa, uh, expenses relating to you know Indigenous employees that I have, uh, Indigenous consultants so you don't, that we you pay. don't have employees. There's two of you who I are do. partners. I do, yeah, the, and they're the Indigenous. Two, two, you have two employees. That's what you and told the indigenous. committee earlier. Yes, okay. that's correct. What is it that you do? What is it that I do? I, I manage. What does your company do? Uh, well, it's a kind of a, so you're asking two things there, right? The the aspect of what I do is an, is an executive on the board of directors for Dalian and looking at governance and the way that the company is, is run on a daily basis. And I've earned that by building the business over 23 years. So, uh, no, 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 but, but, but sir, you're, you're, we, you're, we you're a company with two people, right? Yeah. So, so I appreciate that, you know, you have to pay office expenses and, and you have, um, you have to manage your partner's activities, I suppose. Um, uh, but what do you do? What does your company do? What, what value does it produces produce? What, what is it that you do? Our value add really is in the area of, of project management and contracts management as it relates to federal government contracting. In okay, the so the federal government gives you a contract, you give the contract to somebody else, and you're telling me Not that always. the value you add, you, you, you subcontract to someone else, and you're telling me that the value you add is in the process of project management. So, so what does that mean? What, what do you do? In, because we've been told earlier that the subcontractor deals directly with the federal government in terms of, in terms of, uh, of, of many of the details of it. So, so what do you on a, do? On a, on, a, yep, on a daily basis, that's true. The subcontractor does deal with the task authorization or the, task, the technical authority on a daily basis. But in behind all of that is all of the polarith of, you know, whether it's uh, security clearances and billing and ensuring that the actual contract, we're the prime on the contract, so we also, also ultimately are responsible for the overarching contract management of, of everything that goes on. Well, I understand so, that you're the prime on the contract, which means that you collect the money. Um, but if the federal government is uh, dealing directly with the subcontractors, and if, uh, if, if, if there have been various problems along the way that have been identified in terms of, of the results anyways, uh, I'll ask it again. Uh, what do these words you're saying actually mean? What is it that you do here? Well, I, I, I will pass this off to Colin. Uh, I'm actually interested in what you do kit, first, Mr. Yao. I, I have answered that, and I am an executive on the board of directors for Dalian, and I maintain all of the governance as it relates to the PSAB and make sure that the company is absolutely in line, in step with everything that relates to procurement and government contracting within the federal government. But... but but you don't actually make anything or produce anything, right? So you're, you're, you're making sure all of all of these things, but fundamentally... We're providing a service. We're providing but but service what, what is that service? Like, like if, if, if Stephanie gives me uh, $100 to paint her fence, and then I hire Larry for $50 to paint the fence, uh, what have I done? Uh, I've, just, I've just received money and then hired someone else to do the same thing. And you can call that subcontracting. You can call that project management if you want. But I haven't done anything, right? Like, you don't actually do anything for the money you, you receive, right? There is a lot that we do, actually. As a matter of fact, we, we spend hours and days and weeks, you know, replying to RFPs and replying to making, creating bid responses that cost thousands and thousands of dollars that some we win and some we lose. So, I mean, there is so much, you know, background activity that goes on in the contracting world. It's not just a matter of, you know, 
doing A and B and getting C, collecting money for C. It, it's not that simple. There's this a is lot fascinating. of background activity that happens. Yeah. This is so, so fascinating. That is There's a lot of room to save money. Gentlemen, I'm sorry, that is our time.